Today, we are jumping into a brand new series, Alan Wake 2. I'm super excited to jump into this series. Not only will it get my brother off of my back, but I really enjoyed the first one, so I'm excited to play this one. Before we jump in, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support recently. We finally made partner. Thank you to all of my members and all of the new subscribers. You guys are awesome. But let's go ahead and jump into Alan Wake 2. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. Monsters wear many faces. Welcome back, everybody. I'm super excited to jump into Alan Wake 2. Um, and not only because my brother's been bugging the hell out of me to play this since it came out, but let's go ahead and get started. I'm super excited. Alan Wake was so much fun back in the day. Sorry about the big butt on the screen, by the way. Might have to blur that out. <laughs> I just got monetized in the first, like, nerd. The first super long series I'm going to do has got a male ass right at the beginning, so. Super excited. <laughs> so... <laughs> Please. We should go. Can you can you help me, please? Oh, where did he go? Please, please. I'm naked and afraid. Please. They modeled this character after me, by the way. This is actually what I look like. Harry back. You know, all that. Super excited about it. So we've, I assume that we've, something happened. We woke up in the water. We've probably just looking for a way out right now. Looking for somebody to help us. And obviously those people didn't even try to, unless this is like a hallucination. Ooh, a stinking deal, bro. It's like being a mess. Oh. Oh, okay. That one got me. That went pretty good there. So, are, are we hallucinating? I can't tell. I would assume so. And sprint. Okay. But do we... I don't like whenever games tell me to sprint because I feel like I've got to run away from something. And if you've been around the channel long enough. You know, I hate being chased. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> Can't go up there. Oh no. Dude. This is already, this is already <laughs> good, minus the, the man ass <laughs> in, in my face. Oh, there we go. Thanks, 
Whoa, what is going on? I don't... I don't want to be a part of this. Oh! What is going on? Oh, jeez! I love whenever games are like movies like that's so fantastic like the graphics are fantastic like it's got that movie type feel to it I love it hey kiddo how are you I'm good mom how are you this trip might take a little longer than I thought I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately Logan oh my god mom it's not your fault people get all murdery what happened just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan? I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Turn one invitation. Okay. Grab, get to the crime scene, find the deputies. Okay. The one who wanted to switch. I think I hear. Um, hey. Hello. Over here. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Saga Anderson, I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. 
Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that... Uh, <laughs> Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner Thornton, down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh shit! They didn't hear me, did they? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> uh, could use a briefing. Any witnesses to the crime? Were there any witnesses? Yeah. Couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. I mean, not that we have anything against city folk, right? People are allowed to just go into the woods whenever they want to, don't right? Worry. As long Sheriff as they're Breaker not. Took them back well, it does say go. Does say no entry, so maybe what I could use a briefing. Tell about the crime scene. Tell about the heart. <laughs> Let's get into that, Gordon. Well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. <laughs> I want to see the body. Obviously. How do we get there? Oh, sure. That's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell him I'm here, Winky. I'll show him around. They got it, Thornton. <laughs> I like Thornton. All right, so we found the deputies. Meet Deputy Thornton at the general store. Before we get store. to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. All right. I'm gonna, I need to turn on motion blur. I normally don't play with motion blur on and I turned it off before I, I started, but the facts of the case. I think I'm going to need to turn it on. Okay, so case board. The mind place. My version of the mind palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mind place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The facts okay. Are on the board. So. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth so this is look. a string of of murders has been obviously since the FBI has been called in. Um, the case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. You can use that to move around. You can use that to zoom. Okay. Now free to navigate the case board by leaving or pressing escape. So this, our goals there, cases. Okay, cool. Oh, and there's a map. Okay, cool. All right, so a series of murders have occurred around the town of Bright Falls. Finding the connections will help our search for the killer. All victims reported missing in 2010. No other commonalities so so we've got Ted Lane dentist stab wounds bloating bruising on the wrists victim was reported missing in 2010 discovered in 2012 buried in a shallow grave Wendy Davis teacher body bloated large chest wound found in Cauldron Lake in 2018 some organs missing uh, predation state of the body does not match eight years spent in the lake So it's probably more recent than probably like kidnapped her and then killed her later. Found two weeks ago, Percy Wall store owner bruising, heart removed, strange tattoos. Found two weeks ago, chest wound was ruled as cause of death. Tattooing on bodies a little eligible. So murder method, slight difference in murders, bloating only commonality in bodies, but not cause of death. Chest trauma, exposure to water post-mortem, bruising on wrists and legs. Two of the victims had bruising some of the from more form of restraint strapped or belted down. Deep gash in the chest, heart missing. Most recent victim died of major chest trauma consistent with 2018 victim? Question mark. Hard to confirm due to condition of body. Bloating of the corpse is indicative of drowning, but only one victim was found in the water. Okay, so killer profile. This is who we're looking for then. 
Postmortem tattooing of the body. Victim three was covered in eligible, Ill eligible tattoos, a message from the killer maybe, or their art. The murder targets have no discernible common traits. Apart from going missing in 2010, the victims have nothing apparent in common. Chest trauma resembles animal butchery techniques. Killer maybe a sportsman or hunter. Okay. So we got a little bit of information there on these cases. So there's not just the one that we're currently investigating. There's been ones in the past too. So, okay, cool. So then we got the map over here. So undiscovered map, Cauldron Lake. Okay, cool. What else is here? Let's look around real quick. Probably not a whole lot. We'll probably, um, probably have to go back and just start investigating then. Looks like all the information that we needed is on the case board there. I see you're already there we go. hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Oh, visiting a mine place does not pause the game, so I gotta beware of nearby threats. Hey, Casey. Okay. You're putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Wait, what, what happens to cops whenever they say it's their last case? Is that whenever they usually, like, don't make it home? Stairs are I out. I assume. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. You old man. You old man. Whoa. Okay. I think I still need to tweak some of the settings. They, the settings, they, they, I don't know, something seems a little off. Okay. Nature. Language. Family show. It's too much sky. Too much sky. Okay. Like whenever I start running, he starts running. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Not a blad, blad, bad place to get murdered. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. General Store Cauldron Lake. Hey! hey. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service. Ready to get Tall. this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. So... FBI, huh? Yep, that's, so that's us. Cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob? You forgot the U.S. This? cover ups. <laughs> Those are real? You guys hiring? Oh, I need to turn off this stupid thing. Let's just see this. <laughs> I have to buy this thing. I always have my notification, or I try to have my notifications turned off for like achievements, and I had to get this through Epic. And, um, yeah. So, <laughs> need to turn those off. So, murder site. So that's where we are. Where did we come in at? Probably, probably up here, I assume. All right, where's this body at? Now, this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now, he didn't touch nothing. You know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. <laughs> Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Um. Hey. Step one. Examine the court. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. You unlock your first key image. You can place it on the case board inside the mine place. Okay. Okay, C allows Saga to see active clues. The key image can be selected with that and placed on the case board. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? I don't know. Oh, that's really cool. So you actually get to actively investigate it, so. So, perfect time. We need to see if this link to the killings. 
Okay. So, okay, so the other three weren't this guy then. So it's consistent with the, or somewhat consistent with the other murders. Okay, so we just got to investigate the crime scene here. You can collect clues from the body to progress the investigation. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Okay. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. Okay. So do we just have to keep going back and forth, I assume? So we can place these on the board. Heart's victim found near the body. Heart was moved and left on the table near the body. Was the murder interrupted? Oh, because they chased the uh, the kids, right? There we go. Okay. All right, then. So it all kind of matches up. Chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This it's because they left. That we know about. Okay, so that is the fourth one. Okay. Clues have resolved the open question and unlocked a deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked. Updating your goals. Okay. Check goals by pressing tab. Learn more about the victim. Learn more about the killer. Okay, that seems, seems fair. Find evidence. Talk to someone. Okay, cool. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. Well, obviously they- The victim died here. Tore his friggin' heart out. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Yeah, I mean, it was a cult for sure. I mean, we know that because we, you know, we saw it, but she doesn't know that. Someone left in a hurry. Knock the tripod over. So they knocked the tripod over, camera? which, yeah, like means that they were probably filming it. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. So it looks like they maybe like got the guy and like threw him into the water, then waited for him to get up and come back up into the woods or whatever, and then killed him. Maybe because there's no way that was a coincidence. Like it, it had to have been something like that. So let's look around for some more clues. I guess there's one tooth. Three, well, it's two. I guess just two and three were both on the uh, the tracks there. What about up here? A creepy so twig sculpture. That's some um, cult stuff there. Wonder what's inside. Confused. I around for a way to open this thing. Follow the steps, wash your hands, take the chicken out of the fridge, take a nap. Interesting. So we'll have to find some kind of code probably for that. I'm going to go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Okay. Some more of those twig sculptures. Okay. Looks like they might have, like, or maybe didn't stay here, but, like, they would, they could come here and, like, relax and stuff or whatever before they murdered everybody. You remind me of a dream I had. Neat. Yes, I know, I know. I can use F to activate my flashlight. Thank you for the information. No, please go away. Thing here, there's just triangles all over the place, so it's definitely some type of cult activity. Definitely, definitely. Ooh, what's this? Let this be a warning to you, fellow trespassers. They say the lake is a caldera, something formed by an erupting volcano or the sinkholes it leaves in its wake. But what if it's not true? What if it's something else? Something less natural and much more man made. Intentional? I say the lake's not formed, it's designed, and it had a purpose. The lake is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery ready to be activated at the press of a button. And the people with the button, they're in that big house by the lake, preparing. I know it. it sounds like somebody's crazy. First drawing, waterline. Real caldera is made from a volcano. Lava. 
Second drawing, water line, engineered structure, strange machines. Okay, so those are the drawings on the paper there. Okay. So somebody is kind of crazy. Wait, can I look at the pictures? No, 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 no. Okay. All right. There's something crazy is going on here. Look, I get that the UFO thing was a joke, but you're probably trained to joke about it, right? To deflect, hide the truth from the average Joe. Anderson. Hey, let's get back to work over here, can we? You're the one standing around not doing anything, you douchebag. Jeez. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale. Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Clues can be discovered by speaking to people as well as by examining your surroundings. Well, obviously. Um, okay, let's go back into here. So we've got more stuff to to add. So we've got Thornton victim is Robert Nightingale, last seen in Bright Falls 13 years ago. So we've got that. Um, heavy blood splatter. Um, no, can't go there. Where would these ones go, though? Okay, for later. Cooler and beer bottles. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so those can't go on there yet. Um, unless I can go here? No. Hmm. Oh, wait. Probably there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Lots of activity here. It's unlikely our killer was working alone. No one's heard from this guy in 13 years. You can't say no one. It's just that guy hadn't heard from him in 13 years. I don't really think that's a very good police thing. Just one person said they hadn't heard from him. Like, I haven't heard from people in a long time. Doesn't mean they haven't been heard from at all. So, just saying. Bootprints <laughs> indicating multiple killers. Multiple Quite assailants. Pretty. Present, messy scene, crime of passion. Premed it's premeditated, absolutely. It really made a mess. Sloppy work. It's likely our killer was working alone. It's unlikely our killer was working alone. Okay. All right, let's take a look around some more we say anything else to him no okay so we gotta investigate we also gotta find that um i think i saw for... something it'll only Where? take a minute always here always here you've got such a manly voice there buddy such a manly manly voice i don't want to go through there yet i'm gonna search up this way this is really interesting so far there like you actually get to investigate and i assume that like if you don't find parts of the clues maybe then it'll be harder to like figure that out like figure out the uh hello this is agent anderson and agent casey fbi we'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation Nice talking to you, too. Station heads. Because this note in here said it was a lake house. Funny that they're like, they think this lake house has something to do with the the lake. Um, and maybe like a man-made structure underneath of it. Yet they're posted up so close to them. <laughs> At least the entrance, anyway. Ooh, is this the path that Mr. Man, Mr. What was his name? those all the painted rocks there's a full campsite down here okay interesting oh what's this ufos i mean they're just talking about ufos ufo and ufos and you the ultimate guide to spotting unidentified flying objects I'm writing this down in case it happens again and i forget i got that feeling again it hit me suddenly at 1.15 a.m. after I finished my Alma on the porch of the trailer, I got in the car and drove, chasing it. Starry night, not much moon. As expected, it led me past Bright Falls. Oh, sorry. And Cauldron Lake. I tried to find the right spot, the right emotion, and right thought. The combination to have it all aligned to make it happen. Terrified it would. 
It didn't. Not this time. Frustrated, but relieved. I scanned the sky for shapes. The objects, nothing. But when I blink repeatedly, I think I saw the after image of an octahedron. It faded fast. When I got ready to drive back, I felt someone watching me, but not here. It's him. I know it is. Does he know I'm getting close? I'm on the right track. I was right to come back to Bright Falls. There's different shapes there. I wonder if this have anything to do with that, uh, the case that we never looked at to see if it was numbers or whatnot. Is Cold that case. Kids lunchbox? An it Alex is. Casey movie lunchbox. <laughs> Casey uh, hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. Right. How do you like the knitting, hero? I had made, had it made just for you. Manuscript fragments. Okay. Right. Manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons in the mine place. What? That's a nice graphics there. Okay, so you got to collect those to upgrade stuff. Okay. Neat. Cool. That's such a cool, like, concept. Like, you're going into your mind to figure everything out. I think there's anything else around. Oh, 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 oh. Just walked up on that tent. That's one hell of a strong tent. I'm going to head back and look at that lunchbox thing and see if we can figure out what the code is. Because we've read some stuff. But we haven't really seen a, a number yet. That's really sticking out to me. Oh, okay. So this is different symbols. So we need to look for the symbols. Wash your hands, take the chicken out of the fridge, take a nap. Okay, so wash your hands. Hey, Casey, what's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the rent. A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. Okay, so wash your hands. So that's the one right side up and an upside down kind of overlapped. And you've got the ones that are on top of each other. And then take a nap. So it would be on the bed. I get it. The ones that are side by side like that. Okay. The side by side for the bottom. Down, up, down. Okay. Okay. See if I can remember that. <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard, you know? Okay. So these are like that one. And then this one was take the chicken out of the fridge. Which was that. And then this one was side by side. Right? No. Wait, no, that's that one. There we go. Duh. Alright. Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. Wait, what? What's this? What is this stuff? Okay. Alright. Cool. Now what? Oh, go back to the mine palace, I guess. So is there anything else that we for later for later F cases? Oh, there's a whole other case. Point of interest clues track objects and information that Saga has acquired to chart collection progress. Okay. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message. All right. So Bright Falls area, Cauldron Lake area. Okay, there we go. The note inside mentions making knitting just for me. How do they know I knit? Or maybe just a coincidence. So there's... F oh, there's eight there. Oh, wow. So these are like extra things to find, I guess, for an extra case. I'm going to see if these guys have anything else to say. Lost. Anderson. I'm doing my job. Backs. So you Remember knew I picked him. 
Well, I didn't recognize <laughs> Just interrupt him. Current state, but yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. So what happened after he got fired? So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. So I wonder if this guy that died, if he was here investigating these people that killed him. Like, like the chances of him being a former FBI agent and getting murdered by a bunch of cultists. Like, maybe he was actually, that's the reason that he came here. So, I don't know. I don't know. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. So something was going on that kept these people, like... I think that's everything. For now, at least. Mm-hmm. Anything clicking yet? Not sure. Need to think about it. But, it's, like, I don't know if somebody's, like, keeping these people kidnapped or if they are also a part of the cult. Um, or what, but... Case Nightingale went off the deep end and FBI fired him. He looks a lot different there. Or no, that's from... That's from dude. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Okay, Robert Nightingale, former FBI agent, mental state questionable at the time of disappearance. I trust Casey's read on people. Sounds like our victim wasn't mentally stable. Okay, so that's... Okay. All right, so staking out this spot, having a cold one while they waited for our victim. Yep. And they were filming something. They planned for the murder to happen here, passing the time with equipment ready. They were yeah. waiting for him. Dude, the but graphics in this game look so good. Great. He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? <sighs> victim came from whoa what's going on profiling get into the subject's head see what they saw feel what they felt use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation piece it together okay he was profiling inside Saga's mind place to get inside the heads of suspects and victims Okay, let's read this first here. This mug always cheers me up. Not the worst mom. <laughs> that's that's kind of funny. Saga so can discover new clues by profiling people of interest. Okay. Nightingale. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Yeah. So we're, we figured that out. Okay. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Flip the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. Mm -mm. This was a ritual. A nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Okay. So we're going to need to probably go down to the lake, I would assume, now. Um, can't talk to him. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna see if we can get down to that witch's. Is this a witch's hut? I'll look around. See you in yep. a bit. Take your time. No, that's where we went down beforehand. That was kind of a dead end. Right here. Here we go. 
so I'm gonna investigate this. I'm really, really enjoying this so far. It's got like just enough like mystery and like horror and searching around and being like a little goblin trying to figure everything out. I dig it. Can we look at the map? Yes, we can. Okay. Loads a little funky, but that's okay. So witch's hut. Oh, so it, the witch's hut's up there. That's where I want to go. Okay, so that's this right here. The witch's hut. I thought the door opened. I was going to crap myself. Okay. Here lived the witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware, her spirit may still haunt this place. Okay. Yeah, sure. Sure thing, Sally. Can we get in there? This is definitely, like, upkept by somebody as, like, a touristy attraction, I assume. Some rope. I wonder if that's going to be important. Oh, the axe just fell off there. Whoops. Doesn't look like there's anything in here, though. Okay. thought there might be some kind of clues, like maybe they had some, some, like, ritualistic stuff around um so this just takes us back up that way so there's an, multiple ways we can go so we came down this way what is this there an overlook type place maybe yeah we came down through here um let's go down this way to that other campsite there and take a look so I'm wondering which campsite those kids were that, that the cultists chased. Okay. Might have this here. Friday, Midge told me today that her family's moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and get her to a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in Bright Falls? I'm not going to say that word. This is a family show. Sunday, I told her. She said, thanks. <laughs> I snuck out last night, went to the big house by the lake instead of just watching it from here like I always do. Instead, I just, instead of just sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Anyway, something weird is going down there. I'm going to find out what. I'm going to go back there tomorrow with better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building. Take some photos. It's going to be epic. So was this were these the kids that were out here then? So what is that? Did you know this entire area is inside a caldera? Charm slots that you whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Interesting. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the earth. Caldera is a pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So essentially we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. You got it. I used to love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not going to say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean, my daughter. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, what's a back here? Box again. Another lunchbox. Who's leaving these out here? Not I, sir. I know things can get a little crazy around here, but if you're ever... <laughs> I guess I can do that. If you're ever feeling scared, just remember that Alan is watching over us. So are we... Is this a part of Alan Wake's book that he's writing? Is that what's going on? I, I forget so much from the first game. So, like, it's been years since I've played it, so I know that there's that whole element to it, but I I really should have tried to play that first the first game. Maybe I'll try to play it while I'm actually recording this series just to kind of get an idea for what's really going on. Okay, so we can go down this way. What about up, up here, though? Is there anything up here? 
Because we got to look out for those lunch boxes. I'm going to put that flashlight away because it looks like we need batteries to be able to use the flashlight. It's not unlimited. What was that? Okay. Which is ladle, which is hut. Wait, this takes us back up. Actually, first. I don't know if we ever looked at this up here. I'm going to go that way real quick. I'm going to be one of those people that looks around at everything. Of course, we never really looked through this stuff either. Let's, uh, let's take a look in here. See if there's... They left a lot of garbage. Yes, yes, they Not did. Not the fastidious type. People camping out in here. So this is the, the store that we were told to meet them at and meet him at. Okay, so we got pictures. So that's how we get pictures, I guess. So somebody was gambling. What was that? Interesting. Okay. Morning crunch. Okay, so that's locked. Oh, what's this? Okay. Monday, 9-3. Some suspicious activity spotted. The fielder thought he saw movement in the bushes. Footprints around the area were found, but some were compromised by the fielder. Note to self, train the fielder. 9-4, nothing to report. Some animals regular. 9-5, hunters out after dark. Poachers? Heard some gunshots. Not one of ours. Got to keep an eye on these people. They could get more than they bargained for out there. I wonder if they know something that we don't. Some more than they bargained for. Maybe some animals. Something. There's a phone booth here. I think this is where we're trying to get to. No. I, I need toy ideas. Toys. <laughs> She's 14, KC. Okay. So, where do I get her? Get her a book. Something weird and dark. Maybe that'll get her back into reading. So... I think this is just like an overlook. Yeah, Mortal Falls. I believe so. Anyway. Ooh, There's another this. lunchbox. I'm gonna find all these lunchboxes. My dad used to say, "When the going gets tough, the tough get going." Not sure what we're, not not sure where the tough get going to, but maybe you'll find it inspiring. Okay. So here's that overlook. Okay. So let's go back to the case board here. Nightingale came from Cauldron Lake. Okay, so we got that one. Then we can go to cases, and then we can do the lunch box here. Okay. So this one, these ones come up here as well. Oh, I gotta put them there. Note inside mentions Alan. Alan Wake. What the hell are these? Right of the note is leaving these to inspire someone. Are they really for me? Okay, so there's five more there. We're gonna have to find. Connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Okay, so I'm gonna have to meet him down by the lake. The powerful feet of nature will revive the spirit as it does the surrounding nature. The churning, grinding waters at the bottom of the falls resemble a mortar and pestle, quite like the one the witch and the, the witch of Cauldron Lake is fabled to have used to travel through the night sky. So there's some weird like lore and stuff going on around here too. Like some weird witchy stuff. So there's you know the cult. Wonder if they're in any way tied to that, to the witch, or if it's just a, a myth. Of course, now that I know that there's like other stuff to collect, 
like these lunch boxes. I'm gonna be searching around everywhere. Wait a second. It's heading down to the lake. I saw this. Maybe I should call David. See how Logan's doing. They're fine, Anderson. What's got you so worried? I just feel bad being gone so long. I've never taken a case this far from them. Ah, they can manage without you for a few days. Can't go any further. Water's too deep. Yeah, so we can't really get across there, maybe? What is this? Camping do's and don'ts. Oh, some batteries. Nice. Okay, cool. Oh, no, we can't get out there. Damn. I almost going to search over there next underneath the waterfall. Okay. Well, this is a cool, like, little area. So we got to get back to, uh, or we got to go down to the lake now and meet him there. That's where, that's where we're supposed to be going, I believe. Welcome back, Anderson. Well, there you are. <laughs> He's down there. I need to get I down there. Look around for a minute. You know where to find me. Okay. So he's just wandering around, acting like a chud. So we couldn't get that way. That's where we were just at. Um, we've searched all this, pretty much searched all this up through here now. Um, we haven't gone clear back up here, but I don't think we can. So we're going to go down to the lake now. Oh, hi. How are you doing? <laughs> he was definitely not there a second ago. But also, the game doesn't pause whenever you're in your I'm gonna menus. I'm going to go take something so. out. Be right back. Got it. Oh, what was that? Witch finder. Finder station. Okay. So it's definitely... Oh, jeez. Scared the hell out of me, dude. Anderson. I'm looking around. No trees got... That big. That is oh gosh. Creeps. That you is one massive tree. More. Which is ladle. A witch with no heart. Crap. A strange echo of owl murder. Hmm. A witch with no hearts. Well, that ties that into the these these cultist people. There's no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape, and yet there are many mysterious stories about the lake. It's been a gloomy doorway to the underworld or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her dropping dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named Witch's Ladle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before, she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf, or so the legend goes. So that's a tie-in with the cultists taking out people's hearts there. So I'm wondering if that's, you know, if that's what they're kind of doing. Examine the block path. What is this? There's a piece of paper on the ground. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. Tracks. Tracks. Nightingales? Uh -huh. Take them out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. Yeah, I mean, can I read that piece of paper? There we go. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm, like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them.